Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about the teachable pricing plans as well as comparing the basic to the pro plan just to see which one's going to be the best for you. The good thing about it is that teachable does come with a free 14 day trial. I will leave that link down below. So if you click that, you can get started testing them out. And of course, it doesn't require a card. So that's always a good thing. Getting right down to the basics. First, I just want to let you know that this is going to be for the monthly payment. If you want to pay annually, you will save 33%. So that would come down to about $39 per month, although it's billed annually, and this would be $119. And if going back to monthly, you'll see it's $59 and $159. So basic is going to be the foundational tools and support you need to build your business. It's not going to be everything that Pro offers, obviously. It's a good way to get started. And of course, once maybe you want to scale a little bit more, maybe you have more courses, maybe you want more advanced features like upsells, that's where Pro is going to come in. So if we scroll down a little bit right here, we can compare most of this. So one of the biggest things right off the bat is going to be the transaction fees. So you get 5% with basic and of course you get 0% transaction fees with pro. So which one you're going to be wanting using here a lot of times, depending on how much volume or sales you're doing, if that 5% transaction fee is coming out to $100 or more, then it's going to be a no-brainer to be able to go to the pro. For example, this is $100 more right here. So if that can pretty much cancel itself out, then yes, you're definitely going to want to use the pro. Otherwise, you're spending just too much money on the transaction fees when you can just upgrade and get a better deal overall. With this, you only get five published courses. You get unlimited coaching and downloads. So if you want more than five published courses, then Pro is definitely going to be for you. So that's if you're probably, if you're doing well, you already have a lot of sales or you just want to create more in the first place, that's a great way to use Pro as well. With the basic, you also get integrated email marketing. You get coupons and order bumps, which I'm really glad that order bumps and coupons are a part of that specific plan. If you upgrade to the other plan, you get the upsells, which is another great way not only to increase your order value, but just overall revenue fantastic way of doing it. Plus, I like the ability that you can even add them within the course. So maybe you talk about a little bit more, you give them the chance to do that, kind of get an idea of what your course is all about. And of course, if you want to add that in, you can. Moving back over to the basic, you get live group coaching, custom domains, accelerator challenge access, and two admin and author seats. So that's going to be another reason why you might want to use from the basic to the pro if you have two admin seats and you need a little bit more. Five admin and author seats is going to be good when you're using the pro over here. You can also remove the branding with Pro. You get public API access, live chat support, and of course, affiliate marketing. So those are going to be a lot of the big differences when it comes to the basic first Pro. There will be a few other micro features sprinkled around when you're using Teachable, for example, like the ability to grade and check out quiz results and minor things like that that you may or may not want to use. But overall, these are going to be the biggest perks and biggest differences when it comes to Teachable and of course, comparing the basic versus the Pro plan. If you get to the pricing page, I do want to scroll down a little bit more. Well, there's actually a quiz you can take where it talks about which one is going to be right for you. You can go through this. It's going to be very easy to do. And based upon what you need specifically, in case this video didn't give you enough help, that can really help you decide what's going to be the best for you. Anyway, that should just about do it when it comes to the teachable pricing plans and costs. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to check out Teachable. I will leave that free trial link down below for you in the description. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.